This video is in response to a comment that I saw posted in the live stream chat for What the Fuck Tuesday on January 28th. And I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of expand on what this young lady's uh, opinion is and my why she was responding the way that she was responding to what I had to say, as well as why what she's saying is ridiculous. Let me first start by playing the clip of what I said so you understand the context. If your husband denies any wrongdoing, I have a feeling that just won't go away that he had an unprofessional relationship with an admin staff member. I also received a message via Facebook saying, you should know your husband is cheating on you. I asked him directly without any proof and he's denied it, but I think he was able to cover his tracks. It's been eating me up for quite a few months. I want to be able to put this to rest so I can move on, but I need to know my own sanity. I want to trust my husband. This woman no longer works as a company with him, but I still don't want it to come back to reflect negatively on him as I know she's still friends with people there and may cause trouble if I ask her. Secondly, I don't want to make things worse for my relationship. However, he has in the past told me to ask her. I bet he did because he knew you wouldn't. Thirdly, is this the thing to do? Approach her directly? It may be the only way I get to find out the truth. Keeping in mind, she may lie and say no, or she may say yes, or she may not have done anything at all with him. I just want to know. I don't care about her and wouldn't even contact her again. This is between my husband and I, your thoughts. If you know that no matter what she tells you could be a lie, why would you even ask her? That's stupid. You're going to ask a complete stranger what your husband is doing. Let me tell you, if you ask me how it would hurt your feelings. I would say, first I would say, no, no, we didn't do it. We didn't do anything. Okay, so then you were like, I say, I lied. Yes, we did. Every Tuesday we went to a hotel. Then I say, no, 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 I lied. We didn't do anything. I just messed with you. And then you would be mad. Then I say, oh, you mad? Well, you should be mad because it wasn't every Tuesday. It was Tuesday and Friday. We did it all over the building. Everywhere there was a, under the staircase, in the back of the car, everywhere. We just were everywhere. Your husband's trifling. But he does da, 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 really well. Then I say, no, 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 I'm lying. Okay, so by the time I finish toying with your head, why would I do it? Because I could. Because you would have put yourself in a position to be listening to what I said, and I'm just evil like that. I enjoy fucking with people. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I get to see your face go through all these conniptions and you go through all these emotional changes and be happy and sad and happy and sad. Yes, I'm somewhat of a masochist. Sadistic? Yes. I enjoy see, being, seeing you be a masochist so I can be a sadist and see you go through all this drama. That's why you don't ask other women nothing about your man. Because you might run into somebody like me who's crazy. And it's just going to toy with you just because they can't because you put yourself in that position. That's why you don't do that. Okay, you say it's between you and your husband, and so keep it between you and your husband. If you don't have any proof of anything, then it didn't happen. Okay, so this young woman heard that clip, and she went crazy. She typed in the chat room, women should believe each other. A woman playing games with another woman is really ghetto, and that needs to stop. We should just be honest with each other so these guys don't get away with anything. I want to repeat that last part of the sentence. We should just be honest with each other so these guys don't get away with anything. What does that mean? That means that in her young mind, she is putting the responsibility for policing her man's behavior, for reporting it, for checking him, for making sure that he does what he's supposed to be doing. Otherwise, you tattletale like, you know, he's a child and you're the mommy to the other woman. That's what she that's what her expectation is. 
And by she feels like by women doing that, that these guys won't be able to get away with anything. What I'm telling, trying to explain to these young women is, it's not any other woman's job to worry about what your man does in his relationship with you. That's your job, okay? That's your problem. I hate to be so blunt, but that's the way it is. A relationship is made of two people. A marriage is made of two people. So that means only two people is the problem of two people. Okay, that I mean, well, I don't know, understand what it is that you think some other woman is supposed to assume responsibility for your man maintaining his marriage vows or his agreement to be committed to you. That's no one's responsibility, but his and yours. Now, another woman could come and tell you, hey, you know, I saw a uh, Joe over there, you know, having lunch and he was all smoochy woochy with this woman. Now, what are you going to do about that? What if she's giving you this information? Now, just to say that this is a woman that you kind of know. I mean, she's not really a good friend, but it's someone you know. Well, how do you feel about her telling you this? Because you're going to run to Joe and he's going to say, oh, that was just a business partner. I mean, what are you talking about? See, this is why your friends, you can't listen to your friends because your friends just be making up stuff and trying to, you know, break us up and this and that. And you won't have any proof that this woman is anything other than what he said. So why would you ask that and make a big deal out of it? Also, what if the woman is a friend of yours? Don't you think that her telling you is going to put your relationship at risk? Because most women, and this is a good 80 percent, will stay with the man regardless. And rather than get rid of him, she'll she'll be have a, a strained relationship with the friend because she knows the friend knows that her man is a cheating liar and she feels so uncomfortable around the woman that she kind of, you know, their, their relationship suffers for it. There's no good to come from a woman telling on your man to you. That's why most don't do it. You're going to be mad at her for telling you or you're going to break the friendship up that she has because she called herself, you know, trying to have your back. But you don't really want anybody to have your back. You want to have this man. So you cut her loose or you try to make it her fault for telling. Or, you know, he makes her out to be a, a villain and you want to maintain a relationship. Believe him. Or you just flat out tell her that she's lying. She's hating on you and she doesn't want you to be happy. You know, she's finding every kind of fault with your man. And, you know, why she, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect man. And she misunderstood the situation. And that. I'm really trying to figure out, young lady, what fantasy world you're living in where you think that a woman being, quote, honest with other women about their man is going to be of any benefit to her. Now, we're talk not talking about you. She don't owe you crap because she ain't in a relationship with you. Your man is in a relationship with you. So really, any situation that involves some other woman, you should be directing those questions, those issues, those concerns, that argument, that discussion to him. It is no woman's responsibility to talk to you, tattle to you, inform you, educate you, take pictures of your man. Nothing. It's not, not her job. And you making the statement that you made implies that you have this unrealistic expectation of other women, even complete strangers. Now, in my case, like I said, I believe that no woman should ever approach me to talk to me about her man. Heffa, you need to be over there talking to him about y'all's relationship. Okay, that's between y'all. Don't involve me in it. I have nothing to do with it. That's y'all. If it's messed up, that's y'all. If it's grand great, that's y'all. Either way, that don't have nothing to do with me because the relationship is between the two of you. So it should a woman make that mistake and come to me with an attitude or you know questions about her man. That is what I said in that video is what she's going to get. I'm going to toy with her head because she's stupid. You do not come to some other woman to get information about your man. You go to your man for that. Okay, or his mom or somebody, but you don't go to some other woman, some stranger, a coworker, a neighbor, nothing. You don't do that because it's not their business and they really don't owe you crap. And that's the thing I think a lot of women don't really want to accept. Yeah, I know there's this, you know, this imaginary thing about, well, you know, the sisterhood, this and that, blah, blah, blah. The sisterhood has to do with a relationship between two women. Okay, we're talking about your relationship with your man. There's no sisterhood there. That's a couple. 
So you're confusing things. You're getting apples and oranges. Now, if your sister saw your man doing something or he hit on her or something like that, well, then, yes, of course she would come and tell you because that's blood. Yeah, she's going to tell you. But, you know, as, as I'm sorry to say, as trifling as a lot of sisters are, that even that won't happen. So if you kind of boil all of this down, what I'm saying, what you're going to come to the conclusion is that once you're in a relationship with a man, the relationship is only involving the two of you. No one else has any responsibility, obligation, or owes you crap about your man. That's all on you. Okay, it's all on you. If you do not want that kind of responsibility, you don't think you can handle it, whatever, then don't get in a relationship. Don't date anybody. Don't be serious with anyone. Just stay around, you know, a couple of times here, a couple of times there. Just keep it moving. That's how you avoid this kind of situation. So if he's out with someone else, then you don't have that kind of situation. So you don't care. It's, I mean, because chances are you're out with someone else too. But in a situation like this where she, you know, she got all in her feelings because of how I said that I would toy with a woman who approached me, asked me about her man. She was just upset, upset her. And you you should not have to be honest with any woman about anything to do with her man. It's not your job to be honest. It's not your job to lie. It's not your job to do anything. Just look at her. Now, in my case, once they bother my nerves, then I take off, you know, all the kid gloves, and I just go for the gusto because you shouldn't have come at me with that stupid stuff. This is what well, your takeaway is. I bet you'll never do that again because you will grow up and you will handle your business like a G. But if you come to me like acting like a silly little child with, you know, high school games, I'm going to play them right along with you, and I'm a master at it. So whatever game you want to play, I got a PhD in it. So that's what you want to do. Are you sure? Because your feelings, every one that you've ever had, is about to get hurt. I would not recommend that path of action. But you guys, you know, consider this, what I'm saying. I'm getting back to my debuary uh, recordings in a minute here. But consider what I got to say, and let me know your thoughts on this subject. I'll talk to you real soon. Deb Cooper, peace out. Bye.